tonight in a brutal stabbing of a 12-year-old girl. 12 News Nick reporter Nick Bohr, that is, is live at Waukesha Memorial Hospital. Nick, you've actually learned the 12-year-old victim uh, attacked uh, is actually doing better. Right, for the first time, the hospital, in fact, is confirming that the girl is here and is being treated here at this hour after several surgeries to treat 19 stab wounds, including a number to her vital organs. But her condition was upgraded this morning to fair just a few days after she was critically injured. Her clothing has got blood on it. From the moment a 12 year old girl was found bloodied along a Waukesha sidewalk Saturday, the community has struggled to understand. Her family is pleased she's doing better, but are holding off on further comment. The man who found her along the woods where she crawled after being stabbed issued a statement offering his family's, quote, thoughts and prayers to the victim, her family, and the entire community, profoundly shocked and saddened by the attack. She says she's having trouble breathing. She said she was stabbed multiple times. The families of the suspects, Morgan Geyser and Anissa Weir, have refused to comment on the attack. A crime so shocking that when the three disappeared Saturday, Anissa's brother assumed she was a victim too, showing us a picture asking for help in finding her. That's her, that's Anissa. She's been missing for I don't know how long now. The brother was told one of the girls was found stabbed and he launched into a search for his sister, clearly not thinking she was actually trying to get away from the police. We're not entirely sure. We have absolutely no idea what's happened to my younger sister. And the family wouldn't learn until later that she and her friend had been arrested out near I-94 trying to escape. They're due back in court here in Waukesha next week. Reporting live at Waukesha Memorial Hospital, Nick Board of the YSN 12 News. Police say the suspects were inspired by a character on a website called Creepy Pasta, a site filled with scary stories. Now, the story they followed was about a character called Slender Man. He uses proxies to do his killings. We called school districts around our area to find out if the Creepy Pasta website is now being blocked. Waukesha School District has blocked it. Kenosha Unified, we're told, is in the process of blocking it. Pewaukee administrators tell 12 News the district has always all blocked it, and we left messages for several other school districts out there. Now, this story.